Hey, what's up everyone? Uh, today I'll show you guys how to do uh, 3 plus 2 machining. And we'll just focus on creating planes in this video. So here we go. Here's the part, and here is our fifth axis vise holding onto a dovetail. So the part's sitting up above from the vise because there's stock. And as we rotate it, we see there's holes on all sides and then pockets on two of the sides, and there's also holes on top. So there's kind of a lot going on. Here's just the fifth axis vise. Serrated dovetail jaws, self-centering. Turn the part back on, and what we want to do in this video is just create planes for all the sides. So we'll go up to the green plus, click create new plane from solid face, and click the top face first. This is where we're going to start. This is where we're going to probe off. We're going to just probe the center of the part. We'll call that plane. 100. The work coordinate center uh, will be right in the middle of the part. So it's it's kind of like three axis style where you're just probing the center and you're going to do the top face. That's how we're going to start. I'll show you what we do next. So next we repeat the process. Actually we go from work offset, we type in zero. Next, we repeat the process. Click on that uh, side face. Make sure the X and Y are orientated to the correct directions. And then style manual zero. Click the check. And we're going to rename it 101. Okay, that is our first rotation. So we did the top face, we rotated the side, and we did the holes. Now, we're going to rotate 180 and do the same thing. You want your X and Y facing the correct directions. For me, on my DMG I run, it is uh, X90, Y90, and then Z just facing up. So that's our second rotation. Call it 102 for op one rotation two. And you see we keep going into manual and typing in zero. And that's because we want Mastercam and the machine, in my case a DMG, in your case it could be like Mazak or Haas or whatever, we want Mastercam and the kinematics to talk to each other and tell each other where these faces are without having to reprobe. So you don't want to have to rotate this thing up and reprobe the part. That's why we type in the zero so that 100 talks to 102 and tell it tell it tell 102 to use the probing data from 100 and the kinematics and Mastercam to figure out where everything is. We may have um, experience to where you have to uh, uh, program off the center of rotation, and that's when you don't have kinematics. So that's that's why we type in zero there. And that's just really a basic explanation. It's there's a lot more going on, but that's that's for a different video. This is just a, a quick overview of how to add some three plus two planes. So 103 is that pocket, 104 is that pocket. So there's no need to make it super complicated. You can name your planes whatever you want. They could be A, B, C, D, and E, or 100, 101, 102, 103, 104. I do, for my first op, it's 100, and then it starts counting. So if you have 10 sides, you go up to 110. And then for my second op, it's 200. And if you have multiple sides on there, it's 201, 203. So everything kind of stays 
um, everything stays together. And then I can name my, my toolpath groups um, 100, 200, and then you can name your levels 100, 200. So you can just select everything across from toolpaths, planes, and levels, and just really know where you're at at all times. So this is our uh, uh, basic video on how to add 3 plus 2 planes. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and subscribe for more. Thanks.